Hey everybody, um, I got cut off on my last cutting video, which is video number two. I was just about to show y'all on these textured pieces, how to cut them. Okay, this one side is textured on this side. It's flat on this side. So this is the side you're gonna cut from, even though this is the side that you want to face up in your piece. In order to overcome that problem, you take your piece that you've labeled right here, okay? And you're gonna turn it, you're gonna put your glass down flat side up because that's where you wanna cut. And now to be sure that your textured side will be face up when you lay your pieces together and in your piece, you take this and you lay it like that with the unwritten on side up, okay? Now the other thing that I forgot to consider earlier that you have to consider is your lines, okay? Your directional lines. You need to look at the way these lines move. See, they're going crossways, okay? So when I take my piece, I want the arrow to be going crossways too, so like this. See how the, air, how the arrows run? Put it like that, and then put it down. And you're gonna cut, we're gonna go down here because see we got a straight edge right here, and it fits nicely with our piece, and we save glass. You always wanna save glass when you can because it's expensive. Okay, so we're gonna draw this out. Just trace the lines. Okay, and then put your number on. That's 12, okay. Now, in order to figure out where to cut, you look at how you're gonna save the most glass. Obviously, you don't wanna go this way because you'll be cutting these two pieces and that's wasteful. The easiest way to do it is to just extend this line. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this around. I could have cut it from over here, but I don't want to because I don't have a direction line there. I could have guessed at that and then gotten on straight here, but it's just better to cut, start cutting where you have a line drawn and I'll extend it out that way. And it doesn't matter if I'm exactly right straight when I'm out here, because that part isn't gonna be part of our piece. Okay, so you get your cutter and you get right here on the line. Okay, press down with a firm grip. Try to cut on the inside part of that line if you can. It's pretty small this time, so it's kind of hard to do. Now, I'm gonna cut it See the line there? Let's see. You see the score line right here? That little white line? Right there? There. See that white line? That's our score line. That's how you know. And you heard the noise. You gotta hear that noise. Now to cut it, you get your breaking pliers, you hold them with a little knob up, and you line this line here up with your score line on the side of the glass that you started cutting from. See that? Now I just squeeze and it cuts, okay? Now, doing curves. Curves are harder, okay? We have this curve right here, see that? Now, in order to do that, what I'm gonna do first, I'm not gonna draw a line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I don't need to draw a line because it has to be exactly straight. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut straight across first, okay? Just for teaching sake, I'll draw the line, okay? I'm gonna try to get y'all down a little bit lower. Okay. Just since I'm showing y'all, I'm gonna draw a line. I normally wouldn't. But see this, it's a curve. So first, you're gonna wanna cut straight across. And then you'll cut this curve part, all right? If you have a deep curve, you wanna cut little curves until you get to the deep curve. Don't try to just cut. That one, you could probably get away with it. But if it's a cut that's more like, let me show you. Let's say it went like this. Okay? Say you're trying to cut that. Okay, you don't wanna just take your cutter and cut along this and try to break that. It won't work. You need to first go straight across, cut a line like that, and then cut a line like this, and like this, and then like that. And then when you break those, you're gonna use your other pliers because these pliers are for straight lines. 
If you have a curved line like that, you want to use the other ones, and I'll show you. We're going to cut it, okay? First of all, I'm going to do this straight line across. All right, see that? Here we go. I'm pressing hard, not too hard. You hear the, the line, the score being made. Now we line this up, and we break that straight line across. See how we have it now? Now, I'm going to cut that. I'm going to use my cutter, and I'm going to score that little line there. Okay, so you just put it there and cut along the line as accurately as you can. Now, you can't use these because these are for straight lines. If you try to do this, it's going to break that way. Okay, so you get these. And you be sure that you're holding them with the curved side down. See, the curved lip goes on the bottom. And then you're going to put this as close to your line as you can, right here. And if it's a real deep curve, you'll wanna like tap on the bottom of it a little bit, like this. That helps to loosen that break line. Okay, but we don't need to with this one, it's not gonna be hard, okay? So we get right here, and then you hold it like I am, and then just give it a little pop, okay? Now curves can be tricky. Um, I showed you how to do a deep curve. Um, the main thing is, don't try to use these, okay? It won't work. You're gonna have to use these and just make your, the, if it's a real deep curve, you make it less deep and take off a little bit at a time. Okay, so we got one of those. Let's see, let's cut something different. Um, we're gonna cut one of these, these little guys here, okay? These are gonna be purple in my piece. Now here's the purple glass. Now the purple glass, you might think by looking at this, that it's the same on both sides. It's not. Can you see those little ripples? There's little ripples on one side. It's flat on this side. You can see the ripples through both sides. But since there are ripples there, I want those on the front of the piece and the flat side on the back. So I'm gonna cut them on the back side, but in order to make the ripples on the front, I'm gonna take my piece right here and turn it upside down to do the tracing, okay? So let's just put it right here, as close to that as we can get it. Well, almost as close as we can get it. I like to have a little bit of glass left on the edge. Um, if I put it right up next to there, it's going to make kind of a straight mark right there. And you'll have to grind around that. So I give it a little room to break. All right. And then I'm going to trace around it. Okay. I was kind of screwed up there. And then I'm going to number it. Okay. Now, directionality um, on this one, we got it okay because those ripple lines go up and down. Okay. You just need to look at the ripple lines and see which way they go and be sure it lines up with your piece. And we were fine on that one. Um, since I'm going to do more than need more than one of those and I'm fixing to cut this piece right here, I don't want to waste that. I'm going to just go ahead and do another one at the same time. And I'll show you why. So I'm gonna outline this one. And that one is number 16. And you see how the lines go up and down? So we got that right. Now, the reason I did that is because in order to cut this piece right here, this number 12, I would have to destroy or go through that little hunk right there. I might as well just go ahead and put another piece there and use that little hunk and cut straight up this way. That way I waste less glass. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're gonna cut, I'll show you. I'm gonna draw the line, I don't need to do this, but I'm gonna do it just so y'all will know. I'm gonna cut from right, right here, around those pieces that way, okay? That's not a straight line, I'm gonna try to cut better than that, but it needs to be just to start over here and go around the two pieces. Okay. Now, I'm gonna cut it. See, I've got it lined up with that line. And there it is. Now, I got these two pieces here. First thing I wanna do is separate them from each other. Because if I screw up and break this glass on my next cut and they're, cut and they're still together, there's a good chance I'm gonna screw them both up. 
If I take one cut and go across here and separate them, then the next cuts I make will be on each individual piece and I don't risk ruining both of them. So I'm gonna cut along this line, along to that line, and that will separate them, okay? So here we go. Trying to cut on the inside, okay? And I just cut, see where the score line is? And then that's how I'm gonna do that. And I can use these because it's pretty straight. Okay, there we go, see, perfect, okay, now, all you need to do is cut along these lines to finish it out, now, that's pretty good on cutting, um, I'll go ahead and do one of these, just so you can see, oh, I'm going to leave a little bit on this one so I can show you what, what the, um, grosine pliers are for. Okay, I'm cutting around inside. Okay, now with this one, I'm gonna start over here, click that little piece off, and this time I'm gonna have to go from the side that I didn't start my cut from. I told you if you can, you use your pliers on the side that you started your cut from. You really can do it either way if you have to. It's just better to get in the habit of doing it that way. All right, now I'm taking these little edges off. I can get that little edge off there, too. Now, look, there's a little bit. Let me see how to get y'all where y'all can see. Where are you? There you are. Okay, see where my score line is? And there's this little piece that goes over my line when it broke. Because that was on a circle, kind of a incline, it left that. So you're going to take these grosing pliers, because this is grosing, what we're doing. We're going to chip off these little pieces. That's grossing. You use these pliers and you can pull them kind of down or kind of up, whichever way seems like it, you know, it, it'll work best. And if you have just a little bit that's hanging on there, you go from the bottom up. And then you just kind of chip away at that. Now, I didn't get it perfect, see? It's not perfect. But I got a little bit of that off. Now the grinder will take care of the rest of that. That's why you need a grinder. Because this is about as good as you can get it without one. Now, use the grinder. And we'll talk about that next time. Um, as far as this goes, um, I'm not sure what else to tell you about cutting. If you have more specific questions, please email me. Um, there's not uh, a whole lot else that I can just tell you. It takes practice. And if you um, are struggling with it, get you some of that like plain window glass, like from an old window or um, sometimes you can find stores that throw them out or resale shops that have windows. Use some of that old window glass and practice with it. Um, but you, you know, you need to get in the habit of using these two tools interchangeably and your cutter and get comfortable with it. And if you're struggling with it, you know, let me know and I'll help you. Um, don't go through this on your own. It can be done totally on your own, but you're gonna need to reach out every now and then and get some um, some guidance. I mean, I did, you know, I mean, I think you're going to. And I'm here and I'm willing. So if you're struggling with it and I didn't cover something that is helpful to you, then just let me know. I'd be happy to do whatever I can, you know, to help you. So that's pretty much it for cutting, and we've already done the patterns. Next time we'll talk a little bit about grinding. It's kind of self-explanatory. You know, you got a grinder and, you know, you put the pieces up to it until you get to wherever your line is. And then we'll also start talking about foiling next time, because that's where we are with it. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these pieces out and I'll grind most of them. I'll leave a couple of them for us to grind next time, but we'll do that next time. Okay, so if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope there's some of you that were helped. And if you weren't and you still have questions, you know, let me know. Um, next time we'll do a little, we'll talk about grinding and we'll talk about foiling. That's where we'll go next time. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for supporting my channel. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a wonderful evening. And I hope that helped a little bit. All right, see you later.